So if we um, go back to this guy here, and you can see that um, since the texture operator is evaluating before the twist operator, we can go ahead and you can see that the texture is sticking to it. So um, let's actually delete the twist operator. Keep this here. Uh, let's make sure our headlights on it is alright so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna grab an image here and show you a practical use of this um, swimming and uh, uh, sticking effect so if we were to go open up our net view go inside Google in this case let's grab uh, let's see uh, storefront and see if we can find anything with this storefront images all right okay this isn't too bad so let's grab this image and just drop it on drop it onto our grid here um yes let's overwrite that cool so here we have our um we have our geometry here with a texture on it um, and in this case I'm going to use this texture as a reference to model so if I go ahead and um, uh, let's say I see this loop here and I want to take this loop and add it uh, and move it over to this edge for this uh, for the end of this guy here or if I grab the, the loop that's right next to it that probably would be better so if I were to grab this and move it you can see that I'm not able to slide this edge onto the edge of the reference here. So if I want to, um, if I want to try to do that, let's see if I try that again. If I were to grab this, kind of slide it over a little bit, and hover over this guy, you're going to see that it's, it should be reading just above the geometry, and it is. So if I were to take my texture operator and drop it uh, above my move component you're gonna see that this move is now um, you know you can see that the edge now moved uh, more or less where I would want to do uh, where I would uh, want to position it um, and the texture remained the same so that's a pretty useful behavior but going back and forth isn't really that, that um, productive so what we can do we can utilize um, our different construction modes so if we were to take our texture operator and put it in a different um, uh, construction history stack um, no matter what what's going to happen within the modeling stack um, the texture operator will evaluate afterwards so if we hover over the texture op saying a uh, reading just above modeling which is here so now if I were to go ahead and grab these edges you can see I can move these around all day and I can uh, uh, add geometry and it's going to work so that's uh, pretty useful. I can delete geometry. So in this case, if I wanted to get rid of these guys, I can do so, and um, I wouldn't have to worry. So let's get rid of that. Let's say I don't want any geo here. Pook, pook. Um, let's grab these guys here and slide it. And then um, I'm looking here. I probably want some more loops. Um, let's say I wanted to get this detail, so I can hit Shift D bring this up a little bit and it just happened to match there so if I were to grab these guys alt right mouse button click let's do a bevel so the bevels here and then um, I could alt right mouse button click select adjacent polygons see how well that will work oh, not very well so let's just grab these guys and then I could extrude and then have a good time with this so extrude and then let's just pull this out and you and you can see that um, having uh, having the texture operator read above the modeling stack is allowing me to uh, to use the image plane as my reference um, itself so um, it's a pretty useful technique and there are um, uh, easy ways to access this. I showed you how it worked um, in the back end, but uh, <clears throat> there's actually a function uh, within the rendering menu set uh, three um, on your hot uh, three, or if you come over here and hit and grab render, um, 
it's under the projection tab and the operation is called swim and stick so if I actually want to have the normal behavior of the sticking of my UVs I can go ahead uh, you can see that we're getting the swimming if I want it to stick I just grab my texture operator and just drop it on top of the uh, last operator here so it's not gonna it's not gonna work oh, it actually worked in that case so there we go uh, usually you have to make sure you put it on top or else you're gonna get an error so if I were to drag this over here um, oh, it actually didn't read as an error that's interesting usually I find that um, if I try to bring my texture operator um, to a, a lower level uh, node um, or below above all this history um, I usually get an error that's going to read uh, something along the lines of uh, your uh, the evaluation may not uh, produce uh, predictable results so uh, you're not able to do it but um, in this case it looks like I'm able to so let's just go ahead bring it uh, to the top so we can get a predictable behavior there we go so now if I were to go back here and then move these guys you're gonna see that we get our sticking again and it's behaving uh, like normal um, uh, so that behavior that I was telling you about um, with the buttons over here if we use select your projection and go to projection swim it's actually going to um, bring it up into the secondary shape modeling stack so if I hover over here it's gonna, oh, where's my texture up let's get the texture up there we go. Hover over the texture up. Let's see. See, it's reading just above secondary shape modeling. So now, um, just with that one operation, I'm able to get my texture swimming. If I wanted to stick again, I can go ahead, uh, make sure you have my pro uh, your, pro your active projection that you want to use, and go to projection, stick. So now it's sticking again. So that. Um, Texture swimming and texture sticking is pretty useful. Just one thing to note, um, you lose your texture operator if you have explicit UVs or if you freeze your texture projection. So if you were to select your projection and hit freeze, you're not able to do your swimming anymore since your texture operator isn't, is no longer uh, in effect. So if we were to try that texture swim again, projection swim, you're going to get an error and you're not going to get any sticking. So this works um, with the clean projection where you have your texture support and your texture operator in place. So that is the behavior of your texture operator with, uh, uh, with your construction modes.